Hey everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I decided to make a um, Victorian castle for my scrap room because um, I've been altering a lot of stuff, um, which I'll show you, um, to just add a shabby chic touch to my scrap room, which is my living room. Um, so I decided to make a pearl tassel, and it's really, really easy. Um, and I got these pearls, I had a ton, because we used to use them as garlands on our Christmas tree. So, um, <clears throat> check like Hobby Lobbies or, or, you know, any kind of stores like after Christmas, and you can get these garlands really cheap. So, um, I take you through a flat, fast play on how I made this. Um, I used one of my molds, or one of my um, clay cherubs, and just some of this pearl strand, some of this... Um, tassel uh, like fringe um, Venice lace that I got from the Lace Mama and then I use some of this beautiful beautiful lace that I got from um, Annie Miss Garden Grove one I think that's who I got that from and then I made this uh, little beaded trim on a ribbon which was really easy to make and then just added some iron roses and some fancy trim so that it can hang around just like that and the back is still nice and there's the front so I will hang this up and show you photos of that and show you photos of the other things I altered as well um, I can grab a couple of them here is a bottle that I altered and I just put some pearls in there just for decoration um, I used some of that lace from this is the, I got this from Delightful Designer this lace and then just added some rhinestone trim, a big pearl, and then a bling from Soft Crafter. And that was really easy. And then um, this is one of those uh, bottles. It's uh, one of the coffee sweetener. You add it to Italian sodas and coffees and stuff. And I added some of this pink. Um, it's like a bridal lace from Delightful Designer. And a big flower, um, piece of flower trim from Saw Crafter here. Um, and then I also added another cherub. Um, that's the set, those two together. A, cherub, a clay cherub. Um, and then some I Am Roses, um, some more lace, and then I added this big bling. It was a, um, it was a, like a charm from Carla001, and I just took this big bling off of it and used it for the top so I know you can't see it very well in the camera but I'll show you photos and then I also altered this big bird cage it's not really all that big but um, it's uh, it was like a lavender purple lavender color sorry I know I can't get it in the but I will show pictures um, some I am roses this is some lace from delightful designer um, and then these were red silk flowers, and I painted them pink um, and added some moss. Um, and then this pitcher, I got this pitcher at Goodwill a while back, and it was gold and white, and I painted it white with acrylic paint. Just added some pearls, a crystal drop right here. I just added a wire to that and then just slid it down here so it would hang and then one of my clay roses and just threw some um, silk flowers inside of it. So I will take a picture of how it looks all together and um, show you those as well. Um, so if you just want to add a little shabby chic touch to a room or if you have a room that's shabby chic and you want to do more, just grab stuff around the house like the flavored coffee flavor, um, the heart bottle I got from Michael's, really cheap. Um, and then this candelabra that I'm going to show you. A while back I did um, a project for I Am Roses. It was like right when I first started designing for them. And it was a purple chandelier. I turned a candelabra into a chandelier. And I um, disassembled it and used that for the top of a, like, a candlestick holder that was like brown and wood. And I painted that white. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I hope you like my video and my projects.